In this video, we shall discuss how to determine the residential status of an individual. Before watching this video, if you have not watched my video which explains the rules that determine the residential status, do watch that video. I have given the link in the description box. Only if you are thorough with the rules that determine the residential status, you will be able to understand how to work out the problems. Now I have taken a few problems as examples. The first problem that I have taken is Gautam has left for USA on 10th March 2018 after living in India for 20 years. He returned to India on 10th September 2020. Determine his residential status. So whenever you have a problem, you have to give a title. So I have given a title. Determination of residential status of Mr. Gautam for the assessment year 21-22. So after giving the title, you have to write down the previous year. Whatever previous year you are working for, write down the previous year. The previous year for which I am working out this problem is 1-4-2020 31-3-2021. After writing this previous year, you have to see whether this individual that is this Gautam uh, will come under the exempted category. In my rules, I have already explained you, there are three different types of individuals who are exempted from the second basic condition. Uh, the exempted individuals are a person who left India for employment, a person who left India as a member of Indian ship and a person of Indian origin. In this question, nowhere it is mentioned that this Gautam is a, has left India for employment or as a member of Indian ship, neither he is a person of Indian origin. So, the second basic condition will apply for him. After deciding that, we have to calculate the period of stay during the previous year. For calculating the period of stay during the previous year, you start with the first date that is given in the question. In this problem, the first date that is given in the question is 10th March 2018. You check whether this date will come within this previous year. If your answer is yes, you have to write the date in the rough column and we have to work out. But here 2018 will not come within our previous year. So we are moving on to the next date. The next date is 10th September 2020. Will this date come within the previous year? Yes, this date will come within the previous year. So we are writing the date in the rough column. That is 10-9-2020. After writing the date in the rough column, you go back to the question and check what happened. There are only two situations. Either the person should come to India or he should leave India on this particular date. In this problem, the person has returned to India. Returned to India means he has come to India. If he has come to India, how should we calculate? This date should be the opening date. If he has come to India, the date on which he came to India should be the opening date. So, you write the opening date. That is 10-9-2020 is the opening date. Okay. Now, go back to the question. Check whether any other date is given. No other date is given in this problem. So, I'm, I have to start my calculation from 10-9-2020. No other date is given in the question. So, how should I close this date? If the closing date is not given, you have to take the closing date of the previous year. So, I am taking the closing date of the previous year that is 31-3-2021. So, this person has stayed in India during the previous year from 10-9-2020 to 31-3-2021. Now, let us see how to calculate this. The opening date starts with the ninth month. How many days do we have in the ninth month? We have 30 days in the ninth month. Out of this 30 days, this person was not inside India for 9 days. That is, on 10th, he was inside India. Before 10th, he was not inside India. Simple way to calculate this is, whatever number you have got here, from that number you deduct 1. So, in this problem, we have 10. 10 minus 1 will be 9. So, out of 30 days in the month of September, for 9 days, he was not inside India. So, totally he was inside India for 21 days in the month of September. Now, we have to calculate from 9th month till 3rd month, that is next of March. 
so 10th month fully he was inside india 11th month fully he was inside india 12th month first month then second month and third month we should stop our calculation here because the period is over by 31 3 2021 so don't calculate after march month from september till march so 21 days in september 31 in uh, October, this is November, December, January, February and March. Now find the total of all these days. It is 203 days. After calculating this 203 days, compare this with the basic condition. The first basic condition is 182 days. This person has stayed for 203 days. So he is satisfying the first basic condition of 182 days or more during the previous year. As he has satisfied the first basic condition, there is no need to check with the second condition. Satisfying one basic condition will be enough. So, no need to check with the second condition. Move on to the additional condition. The first additional condition is, he must be a resident for 2 years out of 10 years preceding the relevant previous year. How to calculate that? I have taken the sentence from the question. He has lived in India for 20 years and left only during 10th March 2018. So the same thing I have written here. What do we understand from this statement is that before 2018, he was in India throughout for 20 years. Before 2018, he was inside India throughout the year for 20 years. So that means that during 2017-16 and 2016-15, he should have been in India for 365 days. This period will come under the preceding 10 year period. Our condition is preceding our previous year. Before our previous year, we should take 10 years. Out of those 10 years, at least for 2 years, he must be a resident. He must have satisfied any one basic condition. So this shows that he is satisfying the first basic condition in these 2 years. So he has satisfied the first basic condition. He is a resident for 2 years out of 10 years preceding the relevant previous year. As he has satisfied the first additional condition, we are moving on to calculate the second additional condition. The second additional condition is, he should have stayed in India for a period of 730 days in the 7 years preceding the relevant previous year. So I have written the 7 years before our previous year. Our previous year is 2021. So 7 years before our previous year. This person has left India only here, March 2018. So for March, uh, I have reduced 30 days. Approximately, I have reduced 30 days. So this is how he has stayed in India. 16, 17 throughout the year, 15, 16 throughout the year, 14, 15 throughout the year, 13, 14 also throughout the year he was inside India. So all together, if you see, you can, uh, you can understand that this person was inside India for more than 730 days so he has satisfied the second additional condition also so this person has satisfied the first basic condition and both the additional condition so the answer is he is a ordinarily resident for the assessment year 21 22 i will explain with one more example look at this question shivakumar is an indian citizen leaves India for USA for a job on 21-9-2020. What will be his residential status for the assessment year 21-22 if he has not left India earlier? So as usual, we are giving a title, determination of residential status. After writing the title, we have to check whether this person will come under the exempted category. Who are all exempted individuals who left India for employment as a member of Indian ship? person of Indian origin. Here in the question it is given that he has left India for a job. Job will come under employment. So for this person the second basic condition will not apply. For him there is only one basic condition. After deciding that you write down the previous year then you start calculating the period of stay during the previous year. For calculating the period of stay during the previous year look into the dates that is given in the question. The first date is 21-9-2020. Will this date come within our previous year? Yes, 29-2020 will fall within this previous year period. So write it in the rough column. 
what happened on 21-9-2020? The person leaves India. He left India. As I already told you, there are only two situations. Either he should come to India or he should leave India. In the previous example, the person has come to India. So, that was the opening date. Now, in this example, the person has left India. If he left India, the date will be the closing date. So, this is the closing date. Now, what is my opening date? There is no other date given in the question. So, my opening date will be the opening date of my previous year. So, this is the period during which he was inside India during the previous year. Now, how to calculate? Just like the previous uh, example, you start with this month. This is the fourth month. In the fourth month, we have 30 days. Out of 30 days, how many days he was not inside India? From first he was inside India, as I already told you, whatever number you have got here, from that number, deduct 1. So, 1 minus 1, my answer will be 0. So, this person was inside India in the month of April for 30 days. So, in the April month, 30 days. I have to calculate from 1, 4, from April month to 21, 9. So, in the 4th month, 30, 5th month, 31, 6th month, 30, 7th month 31, 8th month 31 and in the 9th month I should stop by 21. Why am I stopping with 21? Because the person left India on 21, 9. In the 9th month the person was inside India only for 21 days. So I am stopping with 21. From 4th month till 9th month I have calculated. Find the total number of days. The total number of days is 174. Compare it with the first basic condition. The first basic condition is 182 days. The person has not satisfied the first basic condition. We should not compare with the second condition because he is an exempted individual. That is what we have done here. That is what we have done here. The person left India for employment. So, the second basic condition will not apply. He did not satisfy the first basic condition itself. Since he did not satisfy any of the basic condition, you don't have to go to the additional condition. Straight away you can write the answer, he is a non-resident. The person has left India for employment and hence the second basic condition will not apply. As he failed to satisfy the first basic condition itself, he is a non-resident for the assessment year 21-22. So, so far the two examples which we saw, we had only one or two dates. If in a question you have more than one date, how will you work out the answer? For this, I have taken a problem. Mr. X, an Indian citizen, went to America on 1st April 2020 for a film shooting. Due to ill health, he had to stay there just after shooting. He came back to India on 25th September and had to go again on 8th December and returned to India on 15th February. How are we going to calculate? There are too many dates that is given in the question. Okay, first write a title. After writing the title, check whether he is exempted. This person has gone out of India for film shooting. So, he might be an actor. He is going out of India for film shooting. So, that is his employment. For him, the second basic condition will not apply. Now, write your previous year. Then, we have to start calculating the period of stay. As I already told you, for calculating the period of stay, we have to go with the first date that is given in the question. The first date is 1st April 2020. Will this come within this previous year? Yes, 1st April 2020 will come, will fall within this previous year period. So, write it in the rough work column. What happened on this date? He went to America on 1st April. That means he left India on 1st April 2020. Okay, after that, what happened? The next date is 25th September 2020. 25th September 2020 will also come within this period. So, I am writing it in my rough column. What happened on 25th September? He came back to India. So, he came to India on 25th September. The next date is 8th December. 8th December 2020. That date also falls within this period. So, I am writing 8th December 2020. What happened? He had to go again on 8th December. So, 25th September he came to India and again he left India on 8th December. So, he left India. Another date is given 15th Feb 2021. 
this date also will come under the will come within the previous year so i am writing it in the rough column what happened he returned to india on this date that means he came to india on this date so this many number of days we have in this question as i already told you we will start with the first date 14 2020 14 is the beginning of our previous year so the, this is the left date as i already told you if the date is left that will be the closing date so 14 2020 is the closing date i don't have an opening date i have to take the opening date of my previous year both are same opening date and closing date are same so 14 2020 then the next date is 25 9 2020 to india came to india means that will be my beginning date so i have written the beginning date then 8 12 2020 is the left date that will be the closing date came means beginning left means closing date so i have written it as the closing date so 25 9 2020 he came to india and left india on 8 12 2020 again we have one more date that is the came date came date means that is the opening date so i have written the opening date i don't have any closing date so i am taking the closing date of my previous year so i have taken the closing date of my previous year hope you understood this left date is the closing date came date means beginning date that's it if you don't have an opening date or if you don't have a closing date then you can go to the date of the previous year you can take the opening date of the previous year or closing date of the previous year whichever is missing now start calculating here first month fourth only one date 14 is the opening date and 14 is the closing date so number of days will be only one in the next moving on to the next calculation here we are starting with the ninth month how many days in the ninth month 30 days what number you have here 25 Minus one, you will get twenty-four. So thirty minus twenty-four, six. In the ninth month, the person was inside India for six days. We have to calculate from ninth month till twelfth month. So ninth month six days, tenth month thirty-one, eleventh month thirty, and in the twelfth month you take only eight because eight twelve he left India. In the same way, we are calculating for this period. we are starting with the second month how many days in the second month 28 days what number we have here 15 15 minus 1 you will get 14 so 28 minus 14 14 days the person was inside india in the second month we have to calculate from second month till third month only so third month how many days 31 days now we will find the total the total of all these days is 121 days after calculating this compare with the basic condition the first basic condition is 182 days this person did not satisfy the first basic condition and the second condition will not apply because he left india for employment the second condition will not apply he did not satisfy the first basic condition so he is a non resident i hope you understood uh, how to determine the residential status of an individual hope you found this video useful thank you